guys in this video we will be working on a new database called firebase i'm switching over from superbase only because there's not enough sufficient documentation in a community to kind of guide me through this like i thought i'd be able to do stuff with superbase but it's just been a little bit more confusing than i would like but with firebase it's like such a big community and such a big group of people that could you know help me and and walk me through and a lot of content online that i think i'm going to switch over to firebase now they're almost the same you know superbase is known as the firebase alternative for now just know we are going to switch over to superbase uh, sorry we're going to switch over to firebase as our main uh, back end uh, database and, and from there we'll see what we're going to do all right so this is the fifth day of the tech startup and as you saw earlier today was kind of interesting only because we finally pivoted into firebase though i was upset that i had to leave superbase which i was having a lot of fun with i was struggling with some things that i just didn't want to deal with throughout this entire tech startup so i made the decision to switch over to firebase because of uh, because of the bigger community and because of the more tutorials that are online so how I'm learning this, because I've never really done Firebase, was I am following tutorials by people like Small James, who's one of my favorite coding YouTubers. I'll leave his stuff in the in the link. And I'm also following a free code camp tutorial on a Google Drive, uh, Google Drive clone. Now, I'm not obviously copying, I'm not making that app, but I'm just taking their user authentication from that application and I'm implementing it into my app. And I found this... I've always found this really fun, you know, just taking things from other applications, from other tutorials and implementing it into my own app. It's faster, it's better, and it just saves me 10 times the amount of time. Nonetheless, right now I'm going to show you the uh, authentication page, what it's looking like, the things that we've added. There hasn't been any functionalities uh, up to this point, but we are getting there. Right now we just made the app, we set the application, we, we connected Firebase to the application, but we still have to uh, add the email password sign-in functionalities. But other than that, it's going to be uh, pretty easy to, to do. And some other things I wanted to talk about was the markets research and the actual product we are selling. I apologize. I haven't been talking about that much. I've been so focused on the coding aspect and the, you know, the technical side of things that I've just totally forgotten about the actual business model and stuff like that. So we're talking about how I'm validating the market and how I plan to sell this product as a job app. You know, we have to find creative ways to compete with these other companies while also staying new and fresh. And we're also going to test the market by asking users questions, posting Twitter polls and stuff like that. So it's going to be really interesting. And if you don't know what market research and market validation is, all it is is testing out whether or not your product is actually valuable. So what we'll be doing again is going on Twitter. We're going to be posting. We're going to be looking online. We're going to see how many people search for job application for job sites, excuse me. And just seeing whether or not this thing that we are building has a need. If not, we're not going to build it. But if there is at least some form of need, aka people complaining that job sites are not good or they wish they had something like stuff like that, where people seem like they want something new, then we will go ahead with the application. But again, this is a long process and will take constant iteration like we're doing right now. I'm no pro. I'm never going to be the best you know, coder in the world. It's just a constant learning thing and we're just gonna see how things go i'm super excited man this has been like really fun though it's been a little difficult because of um it, the newness of everything like i haven't been this dedicated and this overwhelmed with things in a long time but we're getting there it's a learning progress and i hope you're enjoying that as well so this right here is the sign up page and all we're doing here is uh, we're just making a basic, you know, landing page where it's to sign up, s log in, sign up, log in, just like that. Just so when the user wants to sign up or sign in, they have it right there. And everything within the database will be stored in the Firebase auth context. So I think I can, I hope I can show you this. But all we're doing here is using like the Firebase uh, functionalities such as sign in with email and password. And if you were here, for the Superbase uh, day where we were using Superbase, it was kind of like this. It was basically the same thing. But all we're doing here is storing it into this context folder 
and then we're importing it into like the login and the layout. But other than that, it's been pretty simple. You know, it's, it's a pretty simple looking site. It's nothing groundbreaking. That's for later in the application. But for now, all we're doing is having like the inputs, the button and the layout with all the children and the authentication parts in it. Now, in terms of what we're going to do next, I'm not sure, but I want to finish up this uh, authentication thing and just get it over with. And then we can get into more of the simple functionalities of the site. Maybe hopefully next time uh, we can finish the authentication and then we can actually get started with everything. Now, now that we got the coding out of the way, we can actually talk about how we are validating this in the market. So a lot of us programmers, we don't really like to talk about business because it's a just uncomfortable. And also we're not programmed, no pun intended to be that way. But we have to, we have to, I, I want to normalize it. Like it should be talked about in a more open way because business is a part of life. Business is a part of just society in general. And if we're too afraid to talk about it, then what's the point? So it's important to talk about it. Now, how we are validating our idea, which is a tech job finder application or like startup job finder application is through finding needs. Needs is what sells business. That's what I found with my failed businesses and businesses that have made me money. You have to find a way or find a need that you can cover. Anything we buy is because we wanted it. We go to McDonald's because we needed to buy food. We go to the grocery store because we need to buy groceries, right? Counterwise, we don't go places because we don't think we need it or we don't find value in the thing we are buying. You know, some people don't find value in the new iPhone. Some people do. So it's all about value and finding need. So uh, you can have the best product ever. This application could be better than Apple, right? The application itself. But if there's no need for it, then there's no point to the application and there's no point in making it in general. So how I'm testing this, right, is through a couple of things. First things first, it's, it's three things, but we're first doing the biggest one in my opinion. This I learned in a book called Unscripted by MJ DeMarco. And he said that you should find needs in these Google platforms that have a bunch of data. And what you can actually do is really fun is you can look up what people are searching and peop what people want. And this is just a great way to find out whether or not uh, people have a need or people want the thing you are selling because people look up what they need, right? Like if, let's say, Prime bottles, you know, like Prime, you know, a lot of people will be searching it because they want it, they need it. And look, 10 million, that's a lot. So you know that there's a need for that. So for us, how we can test out whether or not there's a need for it is through looking up maybe tech jobs, tech jobs, um, startup jobs, indeed, um, what else could we put? Job finder. Job helper. Just stuff like that. There seems to be a need in terms of how many people are searching and looking for startup jobs. Now, on the other hand, what we can do is look up uh, people from the business side, right? So people, so businesses that want to go on these job platforms so employee finder maybe uh employees for hire web developers full stack developers stuff like that now this may not be too accurate compared to the other things but look, like employee finders, 10,000, full stack developer, 10,000. So again, there is some sort of need and want to find these employees. And I, I knew that, but I didn't know it was to this extent. Now that we know that, right? Now that we know that there's at least an interest in it. We won't really know until we start polling. But what I also do is this i like to go on reddit which is the worst place to be and see what people are talking about future competitors future companies or same companies as mine and see what they're saying so i found this article and this is not like i, I don't know i just made a character um but look so things like 
this where they're talking about things is really important because this is where you're going to make your product right Wh where people are unhappy you, f you solve the need and people come to you because you're solving that need so this person is saying that it's a glorified parasite of a website uh, yes you can find legitimate postings don't apply to anything more than two weeks old so we know right now that there's a problem with jobs being posted there like old jobs are not being taken seriously and it takes a long time to find posts and uh, to, to verify everything um fine but go directly to search for jobs okay so so people what people are doing here is they're going directly to a company's site. So, well, this person's recommending it, but not a lot of people are going to do that because it's just too much effort. Speaking of resumes, do not use Indeed's resume. Okay, so this is cool. I didn't read the whole article. This person is saying there's a couple of issues. So firstly, um, oh, this is perfect. So as this person is saying here, this person is HR. Okay, so how we can actually be like a really good help to our future customers, aka like HR departments and businesses, is we can show your skills and your creativity. So we can make maybe make a resume builder that shows any computer skills or creativity. We can show things like better job listings or we, or we remove job listings after a couple of weeks. We help out non-sponsored jobs, as it says here. We can add actual jobs, not uh, from other places. Like what I know what Indeed does is they they scrape the internet and then they post everything on their site. That comes, that's not good because there's a bunch of things, there's a bunch of jobs that will just be posted that will never be replied to. So we could possibly uh, focus on something where we only post things for two weeks or however they uh, they apply it to, like they say like two weeks, three weeks. And we make it easier for resumes to be built on our site. We make it better for the HR departments and the em future employees to write on. So stuff like that, right? This is just one of many. Like if I just look up, uh, look, also even here, like anyone has landed a job on Indeed. Uh, this is a person, tw 200 jobs. I mean, that's normal. Indeed is useless. I have job sites. Um, these people saying stuff like indeed to find employees and go directly to the company's website to apply. Not sure. See, so people are forced to go to the company's website to apply. They're forced to. And that's that's never a good thing. You know, you, you obviously you want them to apply to, to those things. But um, the being, them being forced to take extra steps isn't what we want. Well, I want that because then we can make something, but stuff like that. So as you can see, we just looked at two articles that show how we can kind of place ourselves in that position where we are helping them. Oh, look, it's because my birthday showed something here. They're showing uh, a need they want, you know, like th this person, it was so upset as an HR person that he made an article about it and he talked about how it was just a waste of time. So these two are great articles and just, you know, I'm, I'm actually quite happy that that's the case. But uh, the final way and to test out, I'm testing out this uh, whole market need for it, other than other than actually just reaching out to people, which I will do, is through just tweeting out things and seeing what people say. So here I'm saying, like, how would you change the current job application process? That's a good one. You know, I can just post that right now. And people may reply, people may not, but I'll know what, what people want, what people don't want. And this is towards my target audience, which is tech people. So which, it's perfect. And also things like, what's the worst thing about applying to jobs? Um, that's another good one. So I'm just going to post that too. But two just basic things. This is really simple. I didn't really want to talk about this much. But we're just, you know releasing this into the into the abyss you could say and seeing what people respond with okay but for now i just wanted to talk about the job posting site okay uh, once more i i feel like i'm a broken record here but i'm i don't know what exactly the thing is gonna be but i know that it's not gonna be just like indeed i want this platform to be a place where recruiters and future employees can meet where one part 
where both parties just find it easier to apply and find the right person for each other. For example, better resumes where people could write better resumes and showcase their skills. That's better for them because they can actually showcase what they have while also having employers, future employers, uh, look at this and say, oh, this is actually really good. I like this guy because of what he was, he was showcased. Like maybe we can write code in a, in, in a resume. Maybe they can test the future employee through the resume. Stuff like that. I also know that I might want to do it within a startup uh, area. So maybe like a job finder for startups to find the right employees for them. Finally, um, I know that I want this platform to be very user friendly and easy to use. But yeah, that should be it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, then check out the other video here on the screen.